Hey everybody, I just have a uh, lot wow, of faces coming off of that. Sorry, I had to fix that. Um, but here's the deal I, I'm going to probably have to cut this fan off so you can hear me. Alright, we took the pistons out of this LS LQ4 that came out of that three quarter ton over there. Well, I'm taking them out. They got out of order. So here's my question. If I'm re-ringing and we had the crank turn so all of the bearings in the rod are going to be new and we're going to get them all facing the right way because they have the dot. So, uh, and they're all cracked so there was, you know, We've got all the caps going the right way because you can see the crack right there. Uh, if this will focus on, there's no way this crack would fit on one like this. So that's, that's part of that. I've got ARP bolts coming, and um, I got a little time. So I noticed that there was a an S on this one. And maybe you LS guys know what's up. Um, then this is the S. Let me wipe that little bit of grease off and get it toward this light. If you can see right there, there is an S with two little lines underneath. So I didn't know whether these were weight delineations or where, where they go. So if somebody could crack the code for me. Here's another one that has an S with a one to the right of it and see they're all on the front side so that's that's what I got here so I got the S's so they're, they're matching so I didn't know whether they go on the journals together um, so there's an S right here and then there is another S so we just pair them up and then there is an S um, with a, a one on the left side of it. So we pair it up with another S with a one on the left side. And then and I'll just oil them down because the Centos uh, cleaner is dries them out. And then this has got two little lines on the bottom of it right there. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah. So this one's got the S, and this has got two straight lines. So we'll find a corresponding one. See, there's another S. So I, I just broke my theory. And there's an S with one on the side, and then I have. One is one is in already, so um, you can see right there. I just put one in and uh, decided not to go back with a regular LS uh, bolt. So I got new head bolts and I got new rod bolts, and I think we're going to be good like that. It's not like I'm going to be um, doing performance oriented stuff just going to use that as my tool truck and do road service with it so um, I'm going to put all this stuff in the title this LS stuff LQ4 um, I'm going to try to tag Brian's Mobile One and some other guys y'all tell me at least what you think or where to look or share this with uh, some of the the LS people okay thanks a lot